uh, I remember watching the news and there was a coverage of those drive-through test centers where you had cars driving up and then the nurse or the, the technician that's doing the swap would like, kind of lean the head into the window and swap the patient. And I just thought to myself, there's gotta be a better way where we can have it so that the, the patient can do it on themselves comfortably, consistently, and at the same time, remove the healthcare provider from that risk factor of being infected. The, the process is you have this kind of cotton tip, has a fibrous tip there. We have the patient kind of lean back a little bit and I flex their nose. And what I do is I take the swab and I kind of walk it along their nasal floor as we get back until we hit resistance, which is right about there. Um, some will twist for about 10 seconds. Some will twist for up to 20 seconds. And then we retract back. Depending on the site that you go to, they may do it again on the other side to get a good sample. How does that feel? Uh, not great. <laughs> Not, not pleasant. Well, well, you question get, you get is, that could you do that to yourself? Get the tear drop. I would not be able to do that to myself. Either that could not be self-administered. <laughs> no. Okay. So obtaining that consistent sample is what we're trying, that's the problem we're trying to solve. And one that is less painful, much more acceptable to the patient and to the uh, providers who are obtaining that sample. And that's when we started talking about a self-administered nasal wash that would be consistent on every sampling. So um, our most current design here, designed to be about 40% smaller than our initial prototype. That was actually based on user feedback in terms of how big and how small they wanted it to be. So ideally, what we have the patient do is kind of lean forward with their neck kind of down by 15 degrees or so. And then this is inserted into the nose. It's designed so that you can't actually go in the nose, but it seals against your nasal rim so that it doesn't leak. And I have the patient count to three, on three, they take a deep breath in the hole. Then I irrigate. As the saline goes in, it blasts us back into their nasal pharyngeal cavity. They bring for the pathogen of interest, and then they kind of hold as it drains back into the device and right in there. So we cap it off and we send it to the lab for testing. Okay. And that would be much more pleasant. That'd be much more like a saline rinse. Yeah. Yeah, and people and, do that to themselves all the time. Yeah, I mean, I rinse them. Yeah. yeah. So and so far, the research data in terms of pain discomfort, um, the nasal swab on our patients, they're rating it at about an eight out of 10 pain scale. And this is a 0.3 pain scale. We even asked our study patients um, if they had an option to use the nasal swab at home on themselves, the way we do it here, the proper way, only about 25% saying, yes, I would do that. Whereas when we asked them, would you use this at home? So far, 100% is saying, yeah. yes, we really? would be able to, we'd be willing to use this at home on ourselves.